round 12 match of the day saw Subiaco and Perth come together for the first time since round 6 when Perth defeated Subi by 3 points and in effect ending their unbeaten run of 4 straight wins. Well Subiaco haven't recovered since and nor have the Demons won a game since that round 6 match so it was all important both teams coming into this afternoon's match of the day really looking forward for a win. Well the, ball, the game started out with Perth just uh, assuming responsibility and getting to the fall of the ball first. The Lions were able to kick an early goal, this one coming th from Callum Sinclair, who represented uh, West Australia a couple of weeks ago in the state game. But soon after that, the Demons really started to take control. They dominated the stoppages, the centre breaks, and really around the ground, they had winners in most positions on the ground. Matthew Moody there kicking a valuable goal, and he was a good contributor for Subiaco all day. Darren Rumble back in the Subiaco side after a long break with illness, wasn't able to find his best form, and some of Subiaco's turnovers really played into Perth's hands and Nick Lower taking full advantage of a mistake on that occasion to kick one of his three goals for the afternoon. He was quite outstanding as was this young man Simon Donovan. He really on a couple of occasions produced some terrific solo efforts and that was a wonderful e exhibition from him there to be able to kick one of his three goals. A good contribution from the young man this afternoon. We see here the Demons really dominating the centre clearances once again. Ross Young, well he's a Sandover medalist. We all know his class. He's in a run and carry the ball ball player and no wonder that he catches the umpire's eye on so many occasions because he uses it so well and is able to uh, run and kick goals as well as amass possessions. They really did use the ball around the stoppages so, so well. Scott Douglas for Subiaco was winning most of the taps but Perth were very adept at getting into position and sharking a lot of those takeaways. Leon Davis, well there can't be too many superlatives said about this man. He's nearly about to turn 32 years of age but some of his brilliance this afternoon his electrifying speed and his ability to use the ball so well under pressure was quite outstanding. After leading by 25 points at quarter time, Perth led by 46 at half time. They led by 68 at three-quarter time. And Subiaco, whilst they fought back and continued to try hard, they just didn't have the polish of the Demons, who were really on fire this afternoon. The Demons actually did win the, the final quarter by two points and that goal there from Matthew Rogers was one of the best of the afternoon and his was a very good contribution. You can see there as I mentioned 25 point leaders at quarter time, 46 at the half, 68 points was the margin at three quarter time and they ran out winners by 70 points, 20 goals 14, 134 to Subiaco's 19-64. Well, next week we travel down to East Fremantle Oval. The Sharks are in rare form at the moment after winning the Fremantle Derby last week and accounting for Peel Thunder in round 12 to the tune of 14 goals. Our round 13 match of the day, East Fremantle versus Subiaco, and we are on air from 2pm.